Welcome back to Good Morning Interbike. Thanks for joining us here at interbike.com slash live. We're, gr we're just really glad to have you here. Don't forget we'll be back again tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Pacific time with more great interviews, but I'm really excited now to be joined by Erin Sprague. She's from Specialized. You are the women's product manager, if I have that right. Yes, correct. Welcome to Good Morning Interbike. Thank you, I'm excited to be here. And just so you all know, I mean, you literally just landed, ran here oh, yeah. from the airport just for this interview. The cab's still waiting outside, actually. Did you pay them? Uh, TBD, okay. we'll figure it out. Perfect, <laughs> awesome. Welcome, let's talk a little bit about, first of all, because it's a cool story, how you got, how you arrived at Specialized. You've been at Specialized for about six months, you told me. Yes. What were you doing before that? So I've had sort of a unique path, uh, similar to one of our pro riders, Evelyn Stevens, on the Specialized Lululemon team. I started out on Wall Street and sort of had my first professional experience as a hedge fund investor. And when you do that, you really need an escape. So I started to ride. Yeah. Uh, really got into it, bought a Ruby as my first bike, and there was no looking back. Came to Silicon Valley, got involved in fitness startups, and found Specialized. And have been building bikes ever since. Okay, you, you glossed over some stuff. <laughs> Something about riding across Africa and other kind of competitive events. Come on, tell us about that. I have done a few Ironmans. I've done uh, no some small feet. expedition races across Africa. Um, so I just really like to ride as much as possible, road, mountain, especially triathlon. Nice. So at, when you became a, an, an enthusiast and a competitive cyclist, mm -hmm. um, as a woman, and you're tall, I think you said you're 5'11". Yep, 5'11". Um, any challenges with finding the right equipment that was made for you? Yep, definitely. So when I first started, I tried a whole bunch of different bike brands. Started out like many women do, just sort of um, on a more value-oriented, entry-level alloy bike, and it just didn't fit. Yeah. Um, it didn't feel good, I had saddle pain, I felt like I was reaching the handlebars incorrectly. And so then when I actually talked to my local bike shop dealer, he recommended that I try women's focused products. So I bought a Specialized Ruby, and from there uh, got a professional fit. Didn't realize what a difference that makes. I, I think a lot of first timers, men and women, sort yeah. of come to that through experience. And from there really became passionate about the best fitting bikes for women. Nice. So what's Specialized philosophy when it comes to making products for women? I've said it several times on the show already, and you and I mentioned it earlier. Uh, for so many years, it was that shrink it and pink it. Oh, right? I hate that word. I know, and everybody <laughs> does, but it, was, but it really was the reality. And you know, my wife's tall, she's 5'10", she's a cyclist. Mm -hmm. She ran into the exact same wall that you did as yeah. well. What's the philosophy at Specialized when it comes to making products for women? Well, this year is our 10 year anniversary. 10 years ago, we built our first women's bike. And at that time, 700C wheels were a completely revolutionary product for women. Yeah. And today we sort of laugh at that. And there are some companies in the industry that shrink it and pink it, as you mentioned, or don't believe in the fit story for women. But we take a completely different approach. At Specialized, we actually start from the ground up with female riders yeah. and test them scientifically with our body geometry fit process to build bikes that are customized for them. So commuting bikes, road bikes, mountain bikes, fitness bikes, every type of bike we make for women. And it doesn't start with a men's product, it starts with the female rider. Two separate lines, mm -hmm. one for men, one for women, mm -hmm. and building them spe special just for women. Body geometry is something we've heard about for a while. Explain that for people maybe who aren't familiar with what that means. Sure, so that's our customized fit process, and that's really the foundation of everything we do. So when you think about an average rider, women have different height, uh, different weight, different wingspan and reach uh, than a male rider, and yeah. so we start with all those data points, and that's how we build customized geometry and tubing that really fit that specific woman. Nice. You mentioned the Ruby. Mm -hmm. The new Ruby is in front of us, and it was yes. interesting. I watched as Megan sort of brought it around and uh -huh. into the media center, and everybody's eyes are just looking at it. It's a gorgeous looking bike. Thank you, we're really proud of it. Tell us a little bit about the bike. So this is our, uh, what you're seeing here is our S-Works Ruby. We've completely revolutionized the Ruby platform this year, starting at the S-Works level. Uh, what you're seeing is a completely new frame. This is a triple monocoque carbon construction process. It's a lower weight, uh, increased stiffness, but it has the same compliance that endurance road riders have come to expect and love in the Ruby platform. Other unique aspects of it, it's a one-piece fork, and we have an integrated seat post collar 
as well as shaped seat stays that actually increase the stiffness. Uh, so we have the same compliance package and we've been able to basically enhance the performance of the bike, which is something we're really proud of. Another distinctive feature that is hard not to notice is the cobble gobbler, which is our new seat post. You'll see it on the Roubaix and the Ruby, okay. just at the S-Works level. But one of the things I really love about this bike is it has the attention to detail and also just the focus on women's fit that I was talking about. So we talked to our fitters across the world over the past year, and they told us that our geometry across our sizes wasn't as dialed as it could be. Huh. So we actually adjusted the variation among sizes from 44 to 57. And we actually have a slack in seat tube angle in the three smallest sizes. So we believe that it's a bike that will actually fit women a lot better. Nice. And then another aspect of it is that uh, this frame, uh, this is the S-Works frame, but we also have the new frame construction in the pro level, but then all the way down to an elite level. Mm -hmm. So we've created a really commercially attractive price point mm -hmm. for riders who want to ride carbon, want something a little more value oriented, and we have the original frame at even lower price points. So, so what kind of price, I don't even know if you want to uh, talk about it, well, what price points are we, are we discussing? Yeah, so our opening price point carbon, we're targeting around $1,500, mm -hmm. and then the new frame will be uh, in the $2,000 range. Okay. Um, so we think that's accessible, and our number one goal is to bring more women into the sport. That's what I'm excited about. That's awesome, that's really great. And speaking of that, You've got this helmet here oh, we yes. started to talk about. And, yes. and you know, I don't mean to keep referring to my wife, but I guarantee you this is something that she would love because this solves a problem. Tell everybody why I'm saying Definitely. that. Definitely. So for years, women's helmets were not different than men's. Yeah. And we would look at it every year and we would say, what can we do to actually fit the female head? And we would do all of the scientific studies that I talked about. And finally, one day we just realized that women wear ponytails. They sure do. And so that <laughs> is like the simplest thing when they're riding a bike, they want their hair off their neck right. to be a little bit cooler, more comfortable. So we have constructed what we're calling the hair port. You'll find this on our Aspire Road helmet and this is our Andorra mountain bike helmet. Mm -hmm. And basically what it does, I'm gonna demo it. I'm wearing a braid, but it still works. Watch your mic. I know. <laughs> um, basically, you can pull, oop, it's coming undone a little bit. You can pull the helmet, your ponytail through the helmet. Nice. And just have a much more comfortable fit. Yeah. This helmet isn't my size, so that's part of the problem. Nice. But just to demo it. Um, and when you go into your dealer, the way that you recognize it is it'll have this little tag uh -huh. that says the hair port on it. It's uh. a great idea. So how, you know, one of the things that you were mentioning was um, specialized goal is, is to bring more women into the sport. Mm -hmm. How do you speak to those women? How is it that you bring them a message about yeah, welcome, come into cycling. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you achieve that? So at Specialized, we are absolutely convinced that women are the future of cycling. I think they're the present of cycling, but every weekend when I go ride on the roads and trails around my house, I see more and more women out there. Yeah. And so this September, we're relaunching our brand, and it's going to be very focused on individual rider experiences. So the woman who commutes to work on a Vita, or the woman who shreds down a mountain bike trail on her Sapphire, yeah. or a woman who rides this beautiful bike on the long pothole-ridden roads of Northern California. So we believe in really speaking to the rider and the experience and bringing them, in them into the brand and to help them grow into the sport of cycling. Awesome, and and you know by doing that, just to s sort of speak to the general interbike audience, by doing that, mm -hmm. it helps specialize for sure. Yeah. But it helps the industry in general. Definitely. Just the more people, men, women, children, otherwise, the more people we can bring into the sport, the stronger the sport's going to be. Yeah, that's our goal. We hope that you know you get out and ride with your wife on yeah. weekends, and that we can have families involved in the sport for their own fitness for the environment and to just really discover the passion that we feel that we, we have in cycling. Speaking of passion, Aaron comes from Wall Street and decides it's great, it's wonderful, but I want to get into, the, into cycling I and love here bikes you are more. specialized. Yep. That's awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks and good for morning having me. Life. Great to meet you. Great. That's Aaron Sprague. She's from Specialized. Go ahead and check them out here on the show floor and of course at Specialized.com. Yes. And we will be back with a little bit more from Good Morning Interbike. Joining us next, Steve Boyd from Turn Bicycles.